Hello beautiful people, this is Anumeta back here again with frequently asked questions around meta health. So another question that is consistently asked is how are you connecting embryology with meta health and what has it got to do with disease? So I'll ask you very simple questions here. Uh, have you ever heard of a cockroach getting osteoporosis? Have you ever uh, understood why that does not happen? Now if the cockroach does not have a brain layer called medulla and since it does not have a brain layer called medulla, it does not have the bones like we humans have and since it does not have bones like we humans have, the very structure not being there makes it possible for the disease not to be there. So is not that amazing? If I did not have that specific brain layer, if I did not have that specific story going on in my body, I did not have let us say um, the cortex then I cannot have the problems connected with the cortex. If I do not have brain stem then I cannot have diseases connected with brain stem. If I do not have the cerebellum I cannot have problems connected with that layer. So, this is for you to understand that if that layer of the brain is not present then possibility of the disease is not there. You have to have that brain layer, the organ to have and create a disease in your body and so that is where embryology will connect uh, with meta health where we can then find out why somebody got a disease, which brain layer is it connected to and because of that brain layer what are the beliefs, values and what are the uh, triggers that are stored which was causing that disease. Thank you so much for listening to this. Uh, if you want to connect to more frequently asked questions do connect to anumeta.co.in. Thank you again for watching and see you back again. Bye.